Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share with you my favourite things that I've stopped buying over the last few years in order to save waste and save money. So let's get into the first one being processed food. One of the things I've stopped buying is nut milks. They are so easy to make yourself. You can make milks from nuts, you can make them from seeds, you can make them from oats. And of course, with processed food, there's loads of hidden sugars and salts and preservatives. So once you get the hang of making your own, you really get used to it and then it becomes second nature. The next thing I've stopped buying is bread. It's another processed food that again, once you start, you'll never stop. I make soda bread, which is super easy and quick to make. And of course, you know exactly what's going in there. You can put in the flour you like, the seeds you like. What I'll do is make one loaf for now and then slice and freeze the second loaf to use at a later time. The next thing I've stopped buying is spread. So things like butter and chutney and jams and spreads like pesto and hummus. So I'll always have at least one spread in the fridge just to use on the bread. At the moment we've loads of sorrel so I'm making tons of sorrel pesto. Next thing I have eliminated is tea bags. Now I used to buy tons of tea bags. It was like going into a sweet shop before and I would have every single flavour available. But it's so easy to just grow your own herbs in the garden, chamomile, mint, lemon balm. And even if you don't have a garden, just a windowsill with a pot of mint will give you some lovely fresh mint tea. And of course, a lot of tea bags are lined in plastic so they can't be composted. But what's great about growing your own herbs for tea is you can cut them all, dry them, and they will keep you going all through the winter months. And just like buying tea bags, you can get creative. Here I'm adding a little bit of rose petals, some self heal and some yarrow. And once you get the hang of it, it becomes really fun. And then you kind of think of other ways where you could reduce your waste. The next thing I have stopped buying is fast fashion. So I used to shop in high street shops. I would buy clothes, they would last maybe a year and then they would be chucked out. So now I'll buy mostly secondhand and I'll always check the labels to see how good quality the material is and look for things like linen, cotton, The next category I will buy is vintage clothes, which is just basically older and sometimes more expensive. But this blue dress is incredibly old and it is still in perfect condition. So if I ever want to buy something new, I will buy from ethical clothing stores using materials like hemp, organic cotton, linen, And of course, the clothes will last much longer. The 
The next thing I've stopped buying is flowers. Now, I always used to buy flowers every time I went to the supermarket. And the thing is, they're mostly sprayed with pesticides and they come in plastic wrapping. So if you have a garden, some perennials are great because every year they will give you wonderful flowers. Now what you stop buying can be completely different because it depends on your needs. I love having fresh flowers in the garden. So I just slowly started to incorporate more flowers into the garden so I would be able to eliminate buying flowers in the shop. I've also stopped buying seasonal decorations. Halloween, Easter, even this is an autumn wreath, some oak leaves, some dried up weeds. It's really so simple and it's absolutely free. This is some beautiful willow. I've had this for years. The next thing I've stopped buying is streaming services. So I cancelled my contract with a few different streaming services and I find I get everything I need on YouTube and it's saving a ton of money every month. The next thing I've stopped buying is the phone contract. So that's where you get a bill. And now very rarely I will just top up with a little bit of credit that I need. I've also stopped buying new appliances. So everything in our house is secondhand. And as long as you're not attached to having brand new technology, everything secondhand works absolutely fine. The next thing I've stopped buying is cleaning products. Now, I used to buy a ton of cleaning products. It took me many years to work my way through them all. My motto now is less is more. And you'd be amazed what you can do with some simple vinegar, some baking soda, lemon juice, some citric acid. If you want some a little bit stronger, some alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. You can even use some kitchen scraps like lemon rind and some baking soda to clean off stainless steel in the kitchen. I also use it on the shower doors in the bathroom. The next thing I've stopped buying is cling film. So that's completely come off the list and instead we've got these wax wraps, which do just fine. And I've also eliminated tin foil. So instead I will use a silicone sheet, which I've had for years. So it may seem like just a little bit of money here and there, but if you add up all of that, it ends up being quite a considerable amount. So you really are saving yourself a lot of money and also waste. Next to the beauty section, I used to buy so many different products for my hair from dry shampoo to hairspray. This is a little bit of raw cacao, which you can use for some dry shampoo. So a lot of the products now I get for my body and hair are just from the kitchen. And even things like scrunchies. Now I will just make a scrunchie with some elastic band and some scrap material. So eliminating any type of hair accessory. I've also eliminated shampoo for the last few years and I use chickpea flour or sometimes some green gram flour or some rye flour. I like to change it up every week. Really easy to do. And I don't use any conditioner anymore and I just use herbs from the garden as a hair rinse. And then when taking off makeup, I used to use those makeup wipes, so I've eliminated them out of the shopping budget. 
and for taking off makeup. I used to have so many of those facial cleansers. Now I just use some oil. You can use some olive oil from your kitchen to take off your makeup and these reusable cotton pads. And then afterwards on my skin, I'll just put some dry oil on it and this bottle will last me about a year. So it eliminates all those face creams. I used to go through about one every month or two. So they're my favorite things that I've stopped buying over the last few years. I'd love to know yours. So let's chat as always in the comments or over on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video.